teacher got a red apple today in the form of a $3,000 check. The English teacher was left speechless after getting what's known as the Academy Award of Teaching. Fox 6's Bob Moore has a story new at 5. It was supposed to be an ordinary midweek assembly at East Troy High School. That the name of the teacher who demonstrates excellence in education each and every day and who is the 2010 Wisconsin High School the teacher is Claudia Felsky. Speechless, Dan, and this is an incredible honor. And then we have Hi being interviewed. In the classroom, English teacher Claudia Felsky is far from being speechless. What is the truth? Which version is real? After 17 years at East Troy, Felsky engages students by first creating a comfortable classroom setting. Then she strikes, using a high-tech approach to reel them in. I started using a smart board in my classroom and then I became a smart board trainer. I'm trying to kind of um, connect to where kids are with technology. You know, they're texting all the time, using iPods, and um, so I'm, I'm always interested in thinking about how can I bring those technologies to English, to literature, to help kids love reading, and to think carefully about words and, and put ideas together. A part of the honor is a $3,000 grant from the Herb Cole Educational Foundation. Felsky plans to use it to buy iPods and electronic book readers for her students. It's just the beginning. It's the it's it's just the tip of the iceberg, I think. But um, they're excited about it, and I am too. It's it's um, you know it's good to keep things relevant and, and change things up for the students. Felsky comes from a long line of educators, and she plans to remain dedicated to challenging students. English. I mean, people roll their eyes and go, "Oh, I got English class." But in her case, it's, it's a matter of getting kids in there. They they, they want to be there and. Well, Felsky says she's humbled by the teaching honor, saying there are just a lot of good teachers out there. An example of her think outside of the box approach, last week she installed a disco ball in her classroom. <laughs> now, every Friday between classes, students will be energized by disco discovery time. <laughs> Our kudos to Claudia Felsky. Boy, can I go? The big disco round? I it's know, so but passing that. the class, that's like six minutes, but uh, oh. it's a way to draw kids in. Yeah, and she certainly done it. How many people is she inspiring to be teaching? Teachers, you know, those students, and I love the way they lay on the floor and learn. Absolutely. Lots of comfortable stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's a great story. Congrats sure. to her. Bob, thanks. You're welcome. The Dalai Lama's